Hello everyone, and welcome to Darkside RP's Mod Overview. Today's topic, Gathering and Beast Mastery. We'll be going over a few more animal changes, but before we do, we'd like to give some proper credit to who made these creatures come to life. When we decided to overhaul the models to various animals, we reached out to none other than one of ARK's best modders, Marnie. If you've ever dabbled around in ARK roleplay, then odds are you've already used a few of her mods before. Marnie hairstyles, wildlife, and horses are all staples amongst the roleplay community, and we were fortunate enough to work with her. Links to the Marnie mods will be in the description below. So, with that said, let's dive into today's overview. At Darkseid, we always found it odd that whenever you'd sail into a new port or settlement, you were always sure to find a small zoo. Everyone had an elephant, a giraffe, and a rhino. Why? Because this was how you gathered materials as quickly as possible. As I'm sure you have figured out by now, we heavily dislike the current meta that exists. So, wherever possible, we're going to break that mold. This go around, we decided to try something new. So we're reducing animal gathering rates across the board and instead offering a few alternative methods of gathering resources. Firstly, we're introducing new specialized gathering tools, such as the lumber ax, miner's pick, butcher knife, and skinning knife. These tools will allow players to harvest resources at a much faster rate, similar to the old method of animal gathering. Just chop down some trees and load them in your hauling cart. Now, building a place to call your own can be so satisfying, but it does take a fair amount of time to gather those resources. With this being a roleplay server, we wanted to find a better solution than forcing you to log in for hours every day just to farm materials. So, introducing the garrison system. Now, we announced this one a while ago, and whilst some other entities may have taken some heavy inspiration from it, we still like our system better. A garrison is a modular structure that allows you to hire workers for coin to gather specific resources for you. Need wood for that galleon you plan on building? No problem. Install the woodworking module into your garrison and that's what the workers will focus on gathering. There will also be large garrisons that will yield more resources and rarer materials, but these will be restricted to port towns. Now, your workers will gather for you while you sail the seas and explore. Cargo pallets are also making a return this season. For those unfamiliar, these are a simple quality of life improvement for trade roleplay. These can be loaded and unloaded to ships or docks within range. No more having to manually haul 100,000 pieces of wood off of a ship by hand. Animal crates are also making a return. These can be used to store and transport your animals across the sea safely. No more animals falling overboard right as you cross over into a new grid. Simply place your animal inside of the crate and sail with some peace of mind. Now that we've covered the gathering changes, let's move on to beast mastery. This tree has undergone some pretty massive changes. Firstly, Everyone has instant access to a basic handling skill, which will grant players the ability to whistle and interact with all tames, hold all small pets, and ride common animals such as horses, goats, and sheep. The riding of exotic and aggressive animals, however, will require more expensive skills and tomes due to the level of training involved with being able to control such wild creatures. Next, in order to help encourage trade and focus on individual roleplay, we have deeply specialized each arm of this skill tree. Previously, once a group had acquired a tamer, they didn't have a need for any outside help. This made anyone looking to do taming or breeding roleplay rather dull. So, with that said, players will no longer be able to tame or breed everything. While this may be upsetting to some, we do feel that it will greatly increase roleplay opportunities for everyone on the server. Taming has been broken down into three specialties with multiple levels. Carnivore Taming, Beast of Burden Taming, and Avian Taming. Breeding, on the other hand, has been broken down into Exotic Breeding, Companion Breeding, and Domestic Breeding. Additionally, temperatures will no longer affect breeding and newborns will no longer take damage from temperature fluctuations. Moving on to a few quality of life structures that we've made for you. 
Animal and Mute Storage is making its return. Let's first start with the chicken coops. This is a simple storage that will house your chickens whilst gathering their eggs for you. Make sure to let them out once in a while so they can stretch their legs, because it can get pretty stuffy in there. Next up is the barn. Most people have unfortunately fallen victim to logging off and returning the next day, only to find that wild snake that had somehow glitched its way into the building and killed all of your animals. The barn will eliminate this problem. This will allow you to store any and all of your animals safely now. Lastly is the NPC barracks. With the NPCs being so important to many of the sailing mechanics, it only makes sense for you to have a few extra in your settlement. Now, when you save them from ships of the damned or hire them from the freeport, you can have them relax in the barracks until you need them. Once they're stored, they'll be considered off duty and won't charge you for their services. So the next time you're in need to put sailors on the sails, simply head down to your barracks and retrieve as many as you need. That will wrap up things for today's overview. Make sure to sign up at darksiderp.net and we'll see you soon.